Okay, this video is about another gun, which I think is a pretty good deal gun. This is the EAA Windicator. It's in 357 Magnum. EAA, European American Armed Corporation. Uh, Armory Corporation, excuse me. But, uh, comes in a box, barely got room for the gun and the paperwork. But, it comes, it came in a piece of plastic, but, I mean, a plastic wrap, but, you barely, like I can say, you barely got room for the gun. They just more or less send you a case just to get, so you got a case. But this is the EAA Windicator 357 and a four inch barrel with a stainless steel finish. Frames metal, cylinders metal. The barrel is metal, but it has a uh, alloy shroud on it. Of course, it's a safe gun. No such thing as an unloaded gun. Got to always be safe. One could have slipped in there, and then you're pointing the barrel straight at your forehead. But that's how. I, when you open these up, the proper way to close them is by using the crane, not the cylinder, and never slam them shut like in Hollywood. Or you can, you can snap that lug right, right there. That breaks off real easy. Go doing cowboy Hollywood, but always just use that crane right there. Index it around, but it's in the 357 Magnum, which means you can shoot 38s, 38 special, 38 special plus P. It will take both rounds, which is why 357 is a preferred way to go if you're thinking about getting a 38 and you can swing a 37. A 357 do that. Now this comes in the, uh, the two barrel lengths and it comes in the two inch snub nose which would be easier to carry if you wanted to or the four inch uh, barrel. These are hard to find. I've looked all over my regular places until I went to gun broker and I found somebody that was selling these brand new. Now if you want a 357 Smith & Wesson or a Ruger or even a Taurus, you're gonna pay right around $500 or more just because of the 357 part. EAA sells these. I got this one, it was on like the high end, but it's the only place I could find them. I got this one for 340. But you, can, you can't go wrong with these. I mean, for $340, I mean, your gun lasts you a couple of years, two or three years, firing it, I don't know, a thousand rounds a year, you've done good, which I don't do. But uh, it's, uh, it's just a 357 revolver, it's not much, much to show about it. Very good action on it. I'm not going to dry fire it. I'm not supposed to dry fire anything, especially a revolver. But it's got a good trigger pull. I mean, uh, double action. I was firing it the other day, I put 50 rounds through it and it pulled it straight back, very accurate, very easy. I don't see any reason to have to do it to cock it back like that first time. The double action is one of the best I've ever felt, even better than Beretta. As far as being accurate, being able to come straight back, stay on target. It's, uh, like I said, it's, uh, you got a steel chassis, you got a steel cylinder of course, and the barrel is shrouded. It's a steel barrel, but it's shrouded with a uh, alloy pinned in there. So that's what you get. I mean, that's okay. They do a good job of it. Looks good. It's a false ported uh, top here because that just that just just for looks raise a sight up on it a little bit. I reckon. As far as the sides go, it's like. Minimal. I know a lot of people they paint this out here and uh, the gun range I shoot at They don't have the best lighting. 
I'll say that. They, they're great people, but the, their gun range don't have the best lighting where you shoot, and it's hard to pick up your sights. And, but I was picking these up good, even with the dim lighting and uh, putting, putting rounds right on target. I shot the 357s through here. I'll go out tomorrow, I'll probably shoot some 38s, 38 uh, plus P specials, and some 357s through it. But if you get a 357, then you know you can handle 38s. So 38 and 357, same caliber, just 357 is a little bit longer. That's why you can't shoot a 357 through a 38. Not only are they not reinforced for it, but the cylinder is too uh, short. You have a bullet sticking out. So, I mean, uh, your rounds stick out the end. So if you get a 357, then you can shoot 38s, 38 uh, special, 38 special plus P, or 357. And I guess that's why they're a little bit higher than your regular uh, 38s. But this one here, for $340, you get a 357 that'll shoot all, all those rounds. And you can get it in a two inch, or you get it in a four inch, and you get it in a black finish, or you can get it in the stainless steel finish, which I wanted the four inch of stainless steel. I don't know if I'll ever carry it out anywhere. Maybe if for some odd reason I was out in the woods or something, I'd wanted a bigger bore gun. Then I would carry that with the 357s in it. But for the money and everything, I'd, you'd, I know a lot of people consider a $300 gun cheap and throw away, but depending on your budget, and I don't consider $300 cheap, but you can you can take it and use it. It's a lot better than spending five or $600. But you can use it for what you want, and if it gets marred up a little bit, ain't no big deal. I think I'll just leave this one alone. I was thinking of maybe polishing it, but I've got an interesting pattern forming on that cylinder right there. It's like a diamond pattern. So I don't think I'll clean that off. I'm just going to keep firing it and let, let that pattern play itself out. I want to see what it turns into. Maybe all black after a while from carbon, but That's my choice. But that's it. 357 Windicator. Stainless steel, four inch barrel. Y'all have a good evening.